Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a boots beauty and kind of body haul for you all. But before I jump into that I wanted to make a really quick announcement about my US book tour. If you guys don't know I released a book back in February in the UK and it isn't out in the States yet. So the exciting news is, is that it's going to be coming out in October in the States and I am going on tour with it as I promised you guys. I'm going to be doing six dates across the US. I'm going to be doing Chicago, New York, Nashville, Dallas, LA and San Francisco and it's going to be in between the 10th and the 24th of October. I don't have the exact dates and timings available for you yet but watch this space and if you guys want to come and are excited if you're based in any of those cities or around in the surrounding areas then make sure you tweet me. Um, let's use a hashtag. Let's use um, FDF US Book Tour. Let's do it. Um, I'm so excited to meet some of you guys and finally finally have the book available for those of you who who are based in the States um, because it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time since February. Um, I'm so excited. Also just to see more of the States. Like I've never been to Nashville before. I'm so excited about that. Mike will be coming with me. Sadly Piglet can't come because they won't let her on the plane. But um, yeah, Mike will be coming with me to all of the signings and I can't wait to meet you guys. Anyway, into the haul video. This weekend I popped along to Boots. Actually, this is how long I've had this bag and I've been resisting trying stuff all week because I was like, I know I want to film this for Friday, so I'm going to not use anything and keep it under wraps in this bag for like nearly the whole week. It's been killing me. So the first thing I got is a body wash and I've never tried this before. It's from Soap and Glory. I love Soap and Glory, but I had never seen this. I think it must be new-ish. It's called Rich and Fomus. I love their names. They're so funny. This smells like popcorn to me. I don't know. It smells like buttery, sweet, delicious popcorn. I don't know if it's meant to smell like popcorn, but it does and it's amazing smelling. So I hope I like this. It's a body wash, dual use bath and shower body wash. I'm excited for it. It smells lovely. The whole of Soap and Glory was also on um, buy to get one free. So I ended up picking up two of these, which are miniature, new miniature versions of their gloss sticks. I am a huge fan of the Soap and Glory gloss sticks. They are lovely. Um, I actually really like the nude one and I wanted um, a nude version, but they had sold out of the nude one. So I ended up picking up Pink Punch and Techni Coral. I think these are new shades because I don't remember ever, the dog is like walking under the tripod right now. And Squidge, no, go and sit down. Just sit down. Sit down, stop disrupting everything, you're crazy. What I like about these, they've added like a pointed tip to the ends, pretty nice. I also picked up a new foundation because I've just run out of my Chanel Vitamia Aqua and I was gonna purchase another one and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try something new. Whoa, 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 hold the phone. So I picked up L'Oreal's True Match, which I think I've tried very briefly before, a long time ago, but I didn't have the right color. I ended up picking 3N, which is beige cream, or creamy beige, sorry, that's beige creme in French. Um, it is, meant to be a dupe for the Giorgio Armani foundation, which I really like, and I love the new packaging. I'm pretty sure they've changed this and made it sleek and more kind of professional looking. Really like it, excited to try that. And then I also got two nail polishes from Barry M. I've been wanting to buy these for ages, but they're always sold out of the top coat. It's their um, Daylight Curing nail polish. They came out ages ago, but like I said, every time I've been into Boots or Superdrug, they've been sold out of the top coat, which you need um, for the daylight curing kind of element of it. So I ended up picking up the colour Fuchsia Generation. I don't actually rate a lot of the colours in the collection, um, but I really, really love this one. It's a nice kind of deep pink. Got that and the top coat. Excited to try those after such a long time. Oh, I forgot about this. I got the Maybelline Brow Drama Brow Gel because when I did my last monthly favourites with my friend Lana, she recommended this and uses this and really likes it. She did also say to like cut the end off the brush though, which I'm not sure... I'm not sure how she did hers, but I'm going to see how it goes with the bobble and see what happens. Um, I got the colour Dark Blonde. Normally I would get Brunette for my brows, because I do have fairly dark brows, um, but the colours seem to come up like fairly dark, so like Dark Blonde is pretty dark blonde, it's not just blonde, as the name would suggest. I don't even know where I'm going with that. Um, and then I also picked up um, a few hair products. I actually got some stuff from um, the salon as well, which I'll talk about later, but the one thing I got from Boots was from Lee Stafford, and I haven't really tried much of his stuff before. This is the Argan Oil Nourishing Miracle Mist, because I wanted a new kind of serum um, kind of thing for the ends of my hair. I recently went blonder at the ends of my hair, 
and darker at the roots but I don't know if you guys can see that because on the camera it kind of bleaches everything out a little bit so if you guys can see there's a bit more of like a kind of difference in the colour it's not ombre or anything it's just a bit more of a like natural root um, I definitely want to go darker next time though because I think it's not quite dark enough um, but yeah it's definitely blonder at the ends so I had a little bit of bleach put through the ends um, as you can see here here's the main bit there and then there's a few bits here and then on the other side too um, but anyway bleach makes your hair go dry and frizzy and it's just really kind of not good for the condition of it so I wanted like a new kind of oil based serum to use on the ends of my hair I hope this is good um, yeah, I just kind of bought it on a whim. I don't know if it's any good. It's quite expensive, actually. I think it was $9.99, which kind of surprised me for Lee Stafford because it's a drugstore brand. I also got um, some new micellar water. This is the Simple Micellar Water, which I really like. It's not as good as Bioderma, but it is almost as good. And this was half price. It was like £2.50 for 200ml. Um, it's just really good. I really like this for taking my makeup off. I also did get some cotton pads, but they've just dropped on the floor and they're cotton pads. So I feel like you guys know what they look like. Um, I always get the big oval ones because um, I have so much stuff on my lap right now. It's just going to be a disaster if I try and pick them up. And then I also got a new deodorant. I know this is so like random to talk about deodorant, but I genuinely really like this. It's the Mitchum Ultimate 48 Hour um, Pure Fresh. It's the soft solid one that like clicks up. Really like this. If you're looking for a new deodorant, I rate this one a lot. It's very creamy and nice, awkward. It's deodorant. And then that's it for boots actually. And then for the salon stuff that I picked up, the first thing I got is from Purology, which I've never actually um, tried anything from them before, but they're meant to be amazing. And my stylist, who's actually my friend Gareth, he, if you watch my vlogs, you'll have seen him a few times. Um, he really, really recommends this brand um, and really likes them because they're like an all natural, um, let's see, 100% vegan, 100% um, zero sulfate, blah, 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 yeah. So they're meant to be like concentrated, really good for your hair, whatever. Um, this is their Purify shampoo. Oh, it smells really good. Smells really yummy. Um, this is like a clarifying shampoo, so if you've had a lot of product in your hair, it's really good for kind of stripping it out and like getting your hair back to its normal self. So I got that, and then I also got another product from Purology, which um, is a leave-in conditioner. This is meant to be like a seven seconds kind of equivalent. It's called 21 um, Color Fanatic, or I think it's called Color Fanatic, but then it has 21 essential benefits. And like, it's ridiculous. It's like, helps protect against colour fade, excellent leave-in conditioner, instantly detangles, makes blow drying easier, hair feels nourished, helps even out porosity, weightlessly conditions, ideal cutting lotion, split ends appear reduced, helps reduce damage from brushing, helps strengthen the feel of the hair fibre, um, includes heat protection, shields against environmental aggressors, hair feels smooth, hair feels silky, cuticle appears sealed, reduces the feel of dryness, frizz appears reduced, reduces static, reduces... Oh, refreshes hair for restyling and adds shine. So they're the 21 benefits. Let's see what this has to offer because it's claiming a lot. In fact, it's not just claiming a lot. I would stretch to say it's claiming to do everything, pretty much. Um, but yeah, he used it on my hair when he cut it the other day and it seemed good. So I don't know, I'll try it. And then the last thing I picked up is a texturizing spray or a dry finishing spray. This is Redkin's Windblown 5. So this is meant to be kind of like the Orbe um, dry finishing spray or dry texturizing spray even, but it's got a little bit more hold to it apparently. So I'm excited to try this kind of like dry shampoo, texturizing, hairspray, kind of like all mixed into one. Exciting. And I think that is it for the haul. That's my boots bag. It's done. Um, yeah, I've got lots of good, exciting things to try. So I'll let you guys know how I get on with these either on my blog or in future favorites videos if they are favorites or in disappointing videos if they're disappointing i hope you guys have a fabulous bank holiday weekend and if you are based in any of those cities that i said i really really hope you come out and see me and mike on our book tour it's going to be super fun and i really cannot wait to meet some of you guys tweet me and i'll see you in my next video bye guys Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about new beauty launches for the month of August. I'm going to jump right into it because I've got quite a lot to talk about. I'm going to start off with high street or more affordable buys. In case you don't follow me on Instagram or haven't seen my